Many have a poor understanding about faith. They don't understand and how faith in God, specifically in God, works. Many think that faith is religiousness. They associate faith with religion, rituals, religious habits that are followed carefully, to not say religiously, and then they think that all this religious appearance is faith and is what God is looking for. Once, in reality, they couldn't be further from the reality of God. When Jesus came to this earth in flesh and bones, they found one of the most religious people in the world. Jews were extremely religious. They kept the religion, the coma, punctuation, to the T, on the exterior side. But Jesus condemned them severely because of that religious theatrical spectacle that they use to keep on the outside keeping rituals, customs, traditions, but on the inside being unaware of God, showing that what God looks for is not religious theater. God looks for sincerity. Like he spoke to the Samaritan woman, God looks for those who seek him in truth and in spirit. In spirit means with the mind, intelligence, associated with faith and also with truth, without being mixed with leaven, yeast, with no theatrics. Some think that faith has to do with religiousness, others think that faith has to do with sensation religious emotions. So this usually attribute their emotional experiences to faith. For example, to listen to a gospel song that really touched their hearts. They imagine that that was God. I'm not saying that God cannot and will not use music. I'm saying that many associate the emotions caused by music to faith and one thing has nothing to do with the other because humans are emotional by nature and they tend to be provoked by emotions whether by the visual, by what they smell, what they touch they are sensitive to emotions so many look for religious experiences and they associate these experiences and emotions because they cried, they laughed, they felt this or that and they associated with faith and one thing has nothing to do with the other. So what is faith? If faith is not religious experiences or emotions or religious theatrics, what is faith? Faith is simply obedience to the word of God. Faith is to obey the word of God. And this has no emotion involved. There's no emotion, tradition involved. There's no sensations. This is decision. I will look to understand what God says and what he wants. Whether I like it or not, I will do it. This is faith. Faith is to obey the word of God because I am certain that his word does not fail and will not hurt me, will always do me good. This is the faith that God expects from us, total trust in his words. Look at a biblical example, there are many. The Bible is filled with numerous examples like this. I will mention one that illustrates this emotional conflict with the rational, the faith that pleases God, the rational faith. There, in Mark, Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, we see the story of a man who was religious, very religious. He was one of the main ones in the synagogue. 
by the name of Jairus. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and begged him earnestly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, that she may be healed and she will live. So that religious, extremely religious man, one of the main ones, on the moment that his daughter was sick, his religion was for nothing. Once he learned about the Lord Jesus and learned that he was breaking protocols because he was not popular in the synagogues, in the midst of the leaders, the main ones in the synagogues, breaking protocols, and in his despair, and that's what you must remember, when you need, when you are desperate, when you hit rock bottom, that what didn't help you, you need to leave on the side. As Jairus left his position on being the main in the synagogue, the opinions of third parties, you know what? My daughter is dying, and if this man can help me, I'll look for him. And he went for him. And this is what many don't understand, putting their religiousness, their religion, above all, even above God. Then Jairus went to Jesus, called him to lay his hands on his daughter, that she may be healed and live. But in his spiritual ignorance, he already had a prescription in his mind that Jesus had to go to his house and lay hands on his daughter that she may be healed. And at times, we also commit this mistake on already having a recipe for Jesus. Jesus, he is the recipe, he is my request, this is what I want you to do in this way. We give to Jesus a specific request that he may help us the way we want. Listen, you will come to my house, you will lay your hands on my daughter and she will be healed. As if we were God, as if we were the doctor telling Jesus what is the recipe that he should follow and not the other way around. But see that Jesus didn't follow the recipe of Jairus, quite the contrary. Even though he showed an earnest request that he showed on his voice, tone of voice and his appearance, and this didn't come unnoticed before Jesus, but even though there was an urgency, Jesus in the multitude stopped to rescue a woman. Jairus, I'm going with you, but first, I'll rescue, help this woman who also needs me. So in the multitude, Jesus helped the woman with a flow of blood, and Jairus maybe have thought, didn't he understand how afflicted I am, how urgent is the need of my daughter? And Jesus took the time that he needed to help others. And the text says, while he was still speaking, some came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, in other words, some family members, relatives, who said, your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? In other words, it's too late. It's over. Forget about it. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, do not be afraid, only believe. Do not be afraid, emotional, fearful, sentimental. The fear is a feeling. Jesus said, do not give in to the emotions. Do not be afraid, only believe. Then he came to Jairus' house. In other words, he didn't say to Jairus what he would do. But he said, do not be afraid, don't give in to these words, do not be afraid, only believe and follow me. And you can imagine the feelings of Jairus, a father, receiving that news, leaving his daughter in a terminal state and receiving the news that she is dead. You can imagine the emotional state, the heart that was racing of the father. Jairus was flesh and bones, as we are. How would we be? How would you be when you receive 
such a news. So it's not surprising, it's hard to imagine that Jairus did not have butterflies in the stomach, his heart racing, all this he felt, but even though he was feeling all that, what did he do? He followed what Jesus ordered. Only believe, keep on believing, come with me. In other words, if he had given in to the emotions in that time, was supposed for him to say to Jesus, it's too late, don't worry, it took too long. You didn't understand the urgency and now my daughter is dead. You can keep on talking to others, I'll go to my house to bury my daughter. If he had given in to the emotions, he would have replied Jesus like this. But instead of this, he kept his emotions at bay. And he followed the instructions of Jesus and he went to his house and there he reports how the miracle happened. Interestingly, removing all those who were emotional, filled with emotions. In other words, faith is not emotion, religiousness. Faith is obedience. Jairus kept on believing against all hope, against all that he was feeling, hearing and seeing. He felt, he heard and he saw, contrary to all that he wanted, but he decided to keep on believing in the words of Jesus. And because he kept on believing, then he saw his daughter resurrecting. Understand this lesson and practice it in your life. Faith is not what you feel, is not what you know about the Bible, is not religiousness. Faith is what you do in regards to the Word of God, if you obey it or not. What have you been doing in regards to what God has been telling you? If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.